Hi, this is Erica at Morrison Reeves Library with another talk about an author who's one of my favorites. This author is Jason Reynolds. This is Jason Reynolds. This is his best friend, Jason Griffith. And the book that just came in at Morrison Reeves in August of this year is about their life as young men in New York City trying to make it. Jason trying to make it as a writer Jason Reynolds, I should say, and Jason Griffiths trying to make it as an artist. And so now that Jason Reynolds is a best-selling author, they've decided to go back and uh, write poems and make artwork about what that time was like for them. And it's really interesting to see. This is in the young adult section. What is this? Definitely not art. That's what the uh, people in the pictures are saying. And if you can't eat the poem and you can't drink the paint, then a dummy you are and an artist you ain't. Call me when you grow up or when you blow up, whichever happens first. I love you, loser. So both of them felt like big losers when they were trying to make it and were eating a lot of tuna and rice and uh, soup and trying to uh, survive and make the rent every month. But Jason Reynolds doesn't have to worry about that anymore. He has become a best-selling author. And I think he first became really well known with this book called Ghost. I first heard about it from a student of mine who said he really, really loved it and read it over and over again. It's the first in a four-part series about some seventh graders who have just joined a very competitive track team. Their coach is somebody who won an Olympic gold medal many years before uh, for running, and he coaches a team of young people as a way of helping them run away from some things that are really bad in their lives, run towards a new future for themselves. And in the story of Ghost, part of what he's running away from is um, a physically scary relationship with his, his father. And um, so his relationship with the coach, who's a really positive, um, caring, but also demanding man in his life is very important to him. But not only the relationship with the coach, but with the other members of the team, especially the four um, students who have just come onto the team in that same year. The second book in the series is, I think you say Patina. Most of her friends call her Patty. And she is running partly because her mother has lost her legs to diabetes. And she also uh, is now the, uh, she has the, a legal guardian who was her godmother uh, who's white. And so she's negotiating the fact that her birth mother is still alive and is a major person in her life. And her adoptive mother is uh, somebody who's really trying to be there for her, uh, for her and for her five-year-old sister. So Patty is somebody who really has grown up a lot, has taken care of other people a lot, and who also is able to speak to the other members of her team and uh, help them grow up a little bit more too, while they also learn how to support her. The third book in that track series is called Sunny. It's not on the shelf right now, so I can't show you the cover. Um, and I read it many years ago, but when I looked at the synopsis that's in the catalog, it says that Sonny is somebody who combines running with his true love, which is dancing. So uh, I can't tell you any more details about it because sometimes you know when you've read a book more than five years ago, it's hard to remember the details. I did recently reread the fourth book in the series called Lou. And Lou is a really unusual person because he's black, but he's also albino. So. He has very pale skin and he has to slather himself with sunscreen before track meets. And he is um, learning more about what it means to be a leader because he has been named as a co-captain of the team, but he's in 
competition and conflict with the other co-captain, and they have to learn how to resolve their differences with each other and learn how to support each other if they're going to support the rest of the team. And it really brings all the threads of the four books together as some of the people in the story um, make their peace with each other and also the adults, the, the parents and the coach of these young people also have to um, meet their own interior challenges as they apologize for things they've done in the past and look forward to a better future with each other. So I highly recommend the track series by Jason Reynolds. Those are for middle grade readers. Um, I would say fourth through seventh grade, although the student who first told me he really loved it was in second grade. But when I read uh, Ghost, I thought, oh, some of the stuff that's being described in here, it would be hard for a second grader to take on. So I think they're more designed for um, older upper elementary and middle grade readers. Another one for that age group by Jason Reynolds is called As Brave As You. And it won the Schneider Family Book Award. It's about two brothers who go to visit their grandparents who live in a, a small town in the south and some girls that they meet there, some neighbors and the adventures they have, but also very much also the way that the older boy um, has to learn through his relationship with his younger brother and also learn about his relationship with his grandfather, who can be somebody who's difficult to get to know, but who has a lot of wisdom and a lot of strength to share. And there's a lot of humor in the book too. So I think you will enjoy it. As brave as you. Moving now to some young adult books that Jason Reynolds has written. One is called Long Way Down, and it's written in the form of short poems. And the topic is a very serious one. It's about a boy whose brother has been killed um, by somebody in their neighborhood. He's been shot. And the rules in that neighborhood are you don't cry, you don't snitch, and you get revenge. If somebody you love has been killed, then you have to kill whoever is responsible for it. And one of the interesting things for me about this book is that in reading about Jason Reynolds' life, the author, he had a very close friend who was shot. And he and his friends were planning to try to get revenge on the person who had done it, but they couldn't be sure who it was. And so he ended up not doing that, but it was a very close thing. And he says now that it, it would have changed the whole course of his life. He would never have been able to um, go to college, to become a writer, to reach out to other young people who maybe have not often had an author who speaks with a voice that's familiar to them and talks about or writes about things that they've experienced in their lives. And he says that sometimes when he goes on trips to schools or book signings, he has young people come up to him and say, yours is the first book I ever read all the way through. And yours is the first book where the characters were talking like I talk. Um, so this is a story that was almost Jason Reynolds' story, but he's glad that it wasn't. Another book that I found really fascinating by Jason Reynolds is called Miles Morales, Spider-Man. So Miles Morales is a uh, character in the Marvel series, both in comics and in movies. And Jason Reynolds has written a novel about him. And it's different from his other books in that it kind of has magical realism in it, in that uh, he goes to a a high school that's just like a regular school, except there really is a pipeline underneath it that leads directly to a prison. 
So you might have heard of the term school to prison pipeline, where people talk about the way that sometimes young people are disciplined in schools and sometimes the different way that certain groups of people are disciplined in schools can lead to them being disproportionately suspended and expelled, which then definitely increases their chances of not being able to complete their education, not being able to get a job that pays well and often ends up to um, involvement in the justice system. So this book explores that in a kind of dreamlike fantasy way while also talking about some of the very um, clear and realistic things that people experience in schools. So I also recommend this one. This book is called All American Boys and it was written by two authors together by Jason Reynolds and by Brendan Keeley. So Jason is a black man, Brendan Keeley is a white man. They're both authors. And what they did was write this book from the point of view of two young men, one of whom is black and one of whom is white. Uh, Rashad is in a convenience store buying something and a lady trips over him accidentally and people look around, suddenly see yelling and something happening and they immediately assume that Rashad is stealing something or hurting the lady and so this kid who has done nothing wrong who drills with an ROTC team and um, is a good student has been beaten um, by some first responders who show up on the on the scene and make assumptions about him because of the way he looks and uh, the other character, Quinn, who's the white young man, has seen what happened. He's a witness. And the problem is that one of the officers who was involved in the beating is the older brother of one of his best friends. So he really feels like he needs to take a stand and to tell the truth and to take action, but he's also uh, torn by his loyalties and the loyalties that other people demand of him. So Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley, the two authors, got together at a time uh, when they felt that they really needed to take a stand and to speak up and to say something. And this book was the result of their conversations and their decisions together. Another book by Jason Reynolds is called The Boy in the Black Suit. And this is a winner of another award, the um, Coretta Scott King Award. And it's about a young man whose mother dies from an illness and he's, uh, he doesn't have a father in the picture. So he's trying to um, grow up without a lot of adult support, but he ends up getting a job working at the funeral home and the funeral home director becomes somebody who is an adult who really takes an interest in him and helps him. And he also meets a young woman who is struggling with things in her own life, and the two of them are able to support each other and care for each other as they grow up under very difficult circumstances. So those are the books that I have uh, to recommend here at Morrison Reeves Library by the author Jason Reynolds. I hope you will try some of them. I hope I piqued your interest a little bit about uh, some of those stories that Jason Reynolds is really good at telling in very authentic voices and from the point of view of characters that you really care about. <laughs>